Hello, all of my beautiful YouTube friends. This is LaShawn with Power Life Hypnosis. The introductions for the December videos are a little long this month. However, they contain some very valuable information that can help transform and change your life for the better, as well as some new announcements. So please watch the entire video. Thank you. Hello, all of my beautiful YouTube friends. My name is LaChan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your December 2017 Love and Romance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of those who have commented and shared my videos. And thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all so, so much. If you're interested in learning about who your future long-term romantic partner will be or your future husband or your future wife, you can visit my website at powerlifehypnosis.com. And on my website, under the readings tab, there are direct links to book readings with me. So please check that out. Also, I'm now making my new life-changing subliminals for you all. And I'm very, very excited to be bringing this service to you guys. So I'm making subliminals and I'm doing this in a very, very unique and special way. Um, again, I do have extensive background in working with the subconscious mind, which is very important when making subliminals because you really are speaking to the subconscious brain. So I am making these new subliminals for you all. So if you have any physical changes that you would like to make, you want to change um, anything about yourself physically, if you would like to get over any insecurities moving into 2018, we are going into 2018 and it would be so beautiful to go into the new year without any physical insecurities. Can you imagine? Yes, it's true. You can actually get rid of your insecurities. It's great. Um, I've done it, so you can do it too. Um, I am making subliminals for if you want to bring in a goal, if there's a goal you're trying to reach, if there's something you're trying to do, you want to bring in a job, you want to bring in money, you want to bring in anything, I can help you with that through subliminals. If you want to make any personality changes, I can do that to subliminal. Maybe you want to be funnier, maybe you want to be uh, more patient, anything like that I can help you with through subliminals. I am also doing new intuitive subliminals and I don't know if anybody else, nobody else is doing this, just me. So I'm really excited about this. So what I have been doing is I can ask my guides what it is that you need for healing, what it is that you need to clear blockages in romantic relationships. For those of you who have difficulties in romantic relationships, I can ask what it is that's maybe keeping you stuck. I can ask many different things and I can put together a subliminal specifically for you for those things that you need to be worked, I'm sorry, that, you, that need to be worked on or that you need to heal or those things that you are unaware of. I can put together a subliminal for the unconscious blockages that are stopping you or keeping you from reaching your goals, keeping you from being in your ideal relationship. Again, I could put together a subliminal to keep you, I'm sorry, to help you with that. So please contact me, um, go to my website at powerlifehypnosis.com and under the subliminals tab, you will find the information for all those beautiful, wonderful tools. All of them are on that page. So please, please check that out. I'm really excited because we're in December, we're going into December, we're going into a new year, and I want to help everyone have the best year that they can because these next years are gonna be very, very important for many of us, and they're gonna be very, very um, active years, and I'm really excited. So I would love to help you all achieve your goals and be the best person that you can be during the month of 2017. If you would like to book a reading with me to also find out how to be the best that you can be in the year of 2018, you can book a private reading with me through my website. So go ahead and book a 10 minute private reading, a 20 minute private reading or 30 minute private reading through my website. And I can answer the question of how you can be the best that you can be, how you can get the most out of 2018. So that is another option as well. If you are single and interested in learning about who your future long-term partner is, including details such as when and where you meet your partner, or again, your future husband or your future wife, when and where you meet this person, 
what this person will look like, how to recognize him or her, as well as align yourself with your future partner, your future husband, your future wife, please go to my website, powerlifehypnosis.com and book a future partner reading with me. And when you contact me, just tell me, hey, I wanna learn about my future husband. I wanna learn about my future wife. I wanna learn about my future partner. All the details are right there in the description box. I'm sorry. Well, the details are in the description box, but also um, all the information, every uh, link to contact me will be on my page as well. So everything on my website is set up to be very, very easy for you guys to book a reading. So please check that out. I'm now also on the Instant Go app. That's I-N-S-T-A-N-T Go, the Instant Go app. So if you have an iPhone or if you have an i pad then go to the app store now and download the instant go app and you can ask me a question you can ask me any question and i will respond to you within 24 hours so this is more for quick questions this is more for if you want to know say you just want to know what your future husband's going to look like you can ask me through instant go say you just want to know how to align yourself with the relationship of your dreams. You can ask me through Instant Go. Say you just want to know when and where you meet your future partner, or you just want to know uh, the letters in your partner's name, or you would like to know what is the sign of your partner. Any of these things, you can ask me through Instant Go, and I will respond to you within 24 hours once again. If you do decide to message me on Instant Go, please make sure in the initial message you put your full name, you put your information, so those are your details, your birthday, as well as where you were born, and put the first names of anybody who you are asking about. Put all the information in the first text message because that way I won't have to charge you for additional messages. So you can just put everything in one message and then from there, I will go ahead and send you an answer within 24 hours. I'm also doing dowsing services on Instant Go, which is really exciting. So if you want to know where a lost item is, I am excellent, excellent, excellent with lost items because I had a habit of losing things all the time. So if you lose things all the time, you have to get good at finding them. So I am excellent at helping you find lost items through Instant Go. So if you need to know where an item is, go ahead and ask me and I will tell you. Um, if you would like to know what is going on with your car, uh, maybe house repairs, the compatibility between you and another person, the areas in which you are compatible in, the issues that you may be having in your relationships, the unconscious things. If you want to know anything that's unconscious, you can go ahead and send me a message through Instant Go, and I would love to answer your question there. If you do not have an iPhone or an iPad, you can borrow the, friend, the phone of someone else, or you can go ahead and book a reading with me through my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. So those are all the uh wonderful announcements that i have for you so thank you for listening to those these are general readings so the messages are for everyone under the sun um everyone in the world so the messages may or may not resonate with you so if they do not resonate with you please check your moon and sun rising sign videos as those messages may if the messages do resonate. I'm sorry, if they do not resonate with you, please check your moon and sun rising sign videos. And if they do resonate with you, please check your moon, sun and rising sign videos anyway, because there may be additional messages for you. And that way you'll get a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the month of 2017, December 2017. So thank you so much for listening. And I know this is really long. Uh, we will go ahead and get into your reading now. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. This reading is for you. So let's go ahead and get started with your messages. So what I can immediately see here is I see there's going to be some kind of rivalry go on. However, it looks like plans are going to work out. And then it looks like there's going to be some kind of promise or agreement that happens during the month of December. So let's go into your cards. So on the bottom of the deck here, I have the mice and the whip. And this mice and this whip card is saying that there looks like there's going to be some worries going on in your relationship about some 
violence, some worries going on about some abuse. There may be some manipulation going on. Somebody may be manipulating somebody else during the month of December. So watch out for that. Uh, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Capricorn, watch out for that. There's going to be some manipulation. And it looks like there's going to be either a surprise or a gift or something that's going to come in. So this flowers card can represent a gift. This can represent, again, a surprise. This can represent... Um, this is also one of my narcissism cards. So there could have been somebody or there may be somebody coming in that's going to bring, give you something and it's going to cause some kind of um, sadness is going to cause some kind of delays is going to cause some kind of misunderstandings. It's going to cause some kind of difficult feelings during the month of December. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so I see here. I have the mouse, the mouse, I'm sorry, the house and the mountain. The anchor and the heart. Or the heart and the anchor rather. And then I have the lilies. And the, mount, and the moon, or rather the moon and the lilies. These cards came out first, so it's the moon and the lilies. I'm just picking them up in this way. Okay, so, excuse me. So what I can see here is, there looks like there's going to be a situation within the home that's going to cause some obstacles or cause some problems or there's going to be some kind of delay or there's going to be someone in the home may be so this can be within the home or this can be within a stable situation a stable relationship but i can see here that there's going to be some kind of isolation there's going to be some kind of difficulty some kind of um obstacle but this is something that you can get over because I don't see the scythe here. And the scythe would mean that this thing is just over and there's no uh, bringing it back. But this is something that can be gotten over. And this is within a love relationship. And it looks like this person may have... Um, this person may either be tying Capricorn down or this person may... Just be a steady, a steady love. Somebody who's been in your life for a long time, somebody who you are very fond of, somebody who you could see yourself settling down with. And this could be with a partner who is uh, seductive and romantic. This person could be a male over the age of 30. Um, this can also be something going on where, let's see. What's another scenario we have here? We're at home. There's some obstacles where you're feeling tied down and you're being emotionally wise or emotionally patient. Your intuition can be um, your intuition can be high during the month of December as well. But there can be a situation where you feel like you are waiting patiently. You may need patience during the month of December. So, you could also be seeking out the wisdom of people online, for example, um, intuitive readers. You could be on YouTube. Um, Seeking a lot of guidance during the month of December as well for many of you I'm seeing here But some of you are either feeling tied down during the month of December in some kind of way Some of you are feeling isolated, especially if you live with this person in some kind of way Or you could be feeling like at home is just a cold atmosphere And it is an isolated atmosphere or something like that where you feel stuck in some kind of way. I feel like you guys are feeling stuck in your romantic relationship in some kind of way in the month of December. And you may be having to wait 
for something or something like that. So that is what I see here for you. For many of you, you could be feeling as though either your heart is tied down or you could be staying emotionally faithful to this person. You could be staying romantically faithful to this person despite um, any of these abuses that have been going on or any of this manipulation that is going on some of you guys may just be staying very faithful and very loyal to this person but i do see here some difficult feelings some difficult emotions with this cross i mean i'm sorry with this uh clouds card here so it could either be that your partner has created this or there could have been a surprise that happened that created this but there's some difficult feelings difficult emotions watch out for drug and alcohol use during the month of December so that's what I see for you here okay so I have four oracle cards here for you for your guidance because four cards decided to come out. Spirit wants to give me four different cards for you. So I just took the cards that came out. So I have here flexible, message in a bottle, not for you. and go the distance and cappies so i feel like this is a message saying to be flexible with the messages that come in be flexible with news that you may receive so it looks like you may receive some surprising news here and this could be either be saying be flexible with that news be flexible with news some kind of way So be flexible with the news that comes in. So I feel like I said that like five times. Um, you may have to look at this news in a different way. You may have to look at the circumstance in a different way. You may have to just look at these messages in a bottle or be flexible and open your eyes in order to be open to the messages that spirit, God, the universe is trying to send you during the month of December about this person because they can be messages that this person is not for you. Whoever this person is, the person that you are currently interested in, the person that you are currently dating, it could be some messages that this person is not for you. And you may need to be flexible in these messages because it may be that maybe you don't want to see these messages capricorn so you may have to be flexible in these messages because this person may not be for you however this is saying that you have the ability to keep moving forward you have the ability to keep moving forward you have the ability to keep moving forward um full strength you know the saying is that you are either in or you are calling in a relationship that will stand the test of time. So for some of you, if you are in a situation in the month of December where you find yourself um, being manipulated and being abused um, by your partner, maybe you don't wanna see it. Maybe you're not being flexible and, and seeing these messages and seeing these signs that this person is not for you. But this is saying that this is definitely, um, you know, the case. And some of you may be wanting to hold on to this home situation. You may be wanting to stay in this home situation if this person, even if this person is not for you. But this is saying that if you do find yourself in this situation, for the Capricorns that find themselves in this situation, and this person is not for you, then you must go the distance and you must know that you are calling in a relationship that can withstand the test of time. You're calling in a relationship that can withstand the ups and downs in life and in your, um, in your love life. So... For many of you, you know, if you do find yourself in this situation again, then it looks like this is not the right person for you. And the best thing to do is to be flexible, look at the messages and 
go ahead and get yourself out of the situation because you're going to be calling us something different. I'm hearing false twin for some of you. For some of you, you may be with a false twin, which is a twin uh, flame that you are supposed to meet before you meet your actual twin flame. Um, so that is a message for some of you that I just heard, not all of you. And this twin flame person is going to be someone who mirrors your actual twin flame, or you're going to uh, suspect or believe that this person is your twin flame, but this person's purpose was really to come to you in order for you to recognize what it is that you want and recognize what you don't want in a relationship, what it is that you truly want and what it is that you truly don't want. So the real twin is going to be the next person to come in. And when that person comes in, you already know what it is that you want and what you need. Um, so a twin flame, the, the false twin flame usually comes in before the actual twin. So that is a message that I just got for some of you listening, not all of you. Alrighty, so I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I see here, anything else that I have here, any more messages for you guys. I believe that is it. And these are all the messages that I have for you. Alrighty. Thank you so much, my lovely Capricorn friends. Thank you for watching this reading. I wish you the best of luck in your love and romantic relationships during the month of December. Please thumbs up and like this video. If the messages resonate with you, please comment, please share, please subscribe. And uh, please visit my website, www.powerlifehypnosis.com. If you would like to book a reading with me, you can also... Uh, check me out on the Instant Go app, I-N-S-T-A-N-T -T Go. And on the Instant Go app, you can ask me a question and I will respond within 24 hours. So thank you again. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Please check out my subliminals also. And if you would like a life-changing subliminal for yourself, please visit my website today and we can help change anything that you want in your life. So I'm very, very excited to be bringing these subliminals to you guys. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck once again, and I will see you here again very, very soon. Bye, Cappies.